One of the things that we were not fully aware of when we first came down Montgomery was how strong the attitudes were against anyone who tried to break down the, the barriers between black and white people here in the South. In the summer of 1956, our house was bombed for the first time. And I'll still remember that to my dying days that everybody got up early in the morning and surrounded us and they sang, we shall not be moved. The second time that our house was bombed was after the boycott was all over with. In one night, the Klan bombed four churches and two houses. The first bomb of all of them was to be thrown at our house. It was a bomb that contained 11 sticks of dynamite and a container of TNT. And the demolitions people told us that if it had exploded, it would have leveled the entire neighborhood and many people would have been killed. Landed in the driveway and didn't explode. And so they had another bomb and came back by our house threw that bomb in the yard of the house. The small bomb exploded and the force went right over the top of the large bomb and still didn't set it off. But that, that time after the bombing was over with, uh, we came out and planted a, a small tree in the, in the crater. And that tree grew up, matured, got old, died, fell over. And they planted another tree, which is a mature tree and who knows, before we celebrate another big anniversary, that tree may be done with. We'll have to plant another one. <laughs>